In this video, I'm wanting to show you uh, a video editing software which I've been using, which I think is really, really good. It's it, I'm using it now instead of iMovie, um, and it's just very simple to use, and it's given me some great effects. Uh, what it is called is called ScreenFlow. Now, this is actually software made for recording your computer screen. So what I'm recording myself on just now is what I'm going to be showing you what I'm editing. So it's kind of like a weird kind of thing how it's recording itself at the same time. Um, anyway, uh, and I'll just show you the very basics of how it works and uh, just if, if you haven't got it I would say don't buy iMovie or Adobe Elements or this that, other thing. I say this should be your first software because it's so simple uh, to use and it's pretty much got everything you need without being overly cluttered with crap. Um, okay, so what we've got uh, is obviously your main screen here, which is where your videos go. You've got your uh, timeline down here, which shows you the start of each clip there. And you've got your kind of options over here. So there's your video properties, your audio properties, your screen recording properties. I haven't figured out how to use that bit yet, uh, but that's not really that important. Uh, call out actions, again, I've used that once, still don't quite understand how that works. Uh, your text properties, that's fine. And then this is your kind of bit where you stick all your media bits in. So for example, if I uh, do a video here, let's let's just clear everything. So if I press c Command A, that selects everything. If I press the Delete button, that's all gone. Okay, and so we can make it so it's kind of bigger there or or more space down there for what's the screen. Um, if we want to put, okay, let's do the first video. We're going to stick in of a guy doing a backflip. You may have seen this on one of my other channels. Now, that was shot at 720p, um, and I've made it so it's taking up the, the full area there. Uh, if I press play... Right. Rolling. There's me talking for a wee while. Go for it. And then here comes the guy doing the flip. Right. Okay, and there's, there's a guy also beside me that was taking some photos at the same time. Now, the great thing is, it shows you uh, the sound on the audio... Uh, the audio file Rolling. at the same time as the movie file. What you can do is you can actually uh, detach the audio if you were wanting to maybe mix it up. So if you wanted the audio there, this is a rubbish example of that, but you can... Go for it. And then the sound comes after. So yeah, that that's something which is more used if you're doing a kind of a much more in-depth video and you need to get sections of sound which you want for bits where there's a noise. So for example, if I wanted to take this section of sound and repeat it over the bit where I say go for it, what I could do is it's highlighted just now and if I press uh, the upward arrow and the command and if I press T, so after I press T that's kind of cut it, that, that's your chop button and we can go, we can zoom in here by looking a little bit closer here and let's say it's up to about there or we can listen so we go, so that's a nice little bit of quiet sound and I can press Upward, Command, T, again, so let's cut that bit. And then on there, I can just press Command C, which is your copy. And then if I press Command V, it adds it just after the timeline there. So what I could do is I could put that over this bit. And let's say on this one, I could press Command, Upward, Bit, press T again. Now, if I don't want this, I can just either delete it, or I can just bring the volume down. So if I go up here, Audio Properties, Bring the volume right down to 15%. And now, Shall I go for it? So, so it, it's very good sound. In fact, I might just take it all the way down, all the way up. So it's at zero. And let's hear how well this works. Rolling. Shall I Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, so so that, that's a good way how you've got this like uh, visual representation of your sound waves uh, with your screen. Uh, now the next thing is also, uh, if you're just wanting to like make this clip shorter, it's very simple. You can just click and drag, and that's, that's it shorter now. If I want it to start maybe one and a half seconds in, I can highlight that, and I can highlight all of this. I can bring it along, and then from zero, we've got nothing, Right. And then the Rolling. video starts. And if I wanted to add some text at the very start, I just bring the timeline button, this bit Sorry. here. 
right to the start and I'll just go add text box and we'll name this one backflip thingy. Uh, again you've got some nice and simple options of what uh, fonts and size that you're going to have at. Um, if you click away and then you click back on it you can move wherever you want it to have to have it to be and uh, over here you've got your uh, loads of options of your different types of uh, fonts to use. You can also have it so there's a background as well. So if we bring it over here, here if it's still kind of on the screen at this time, you can do it so that there is no background and that is taking clicking that. So now it can be on your screen all the time uh, or during the length of this bit down here uh, without any kind of background squarey bit there. And you can also change the colour of the background. Let's say you're wanting it to be kind of a weird picture of the red arrows. Yeah. <sighs> scale to fit, no. Scale to fill. Randomly, you can have it like that. Why? I don't know. I don't know why you'd want that. Maybe that's your logo, maybe, kind of thing. Um, but there's that. Now, the other thing is, which is quite cool. So here, again, uh, you can change sizes, you can change fonts, uh, like here you can have up to, uh, oh didn't click it, so this one, command A, and then go to font size 64, and it makes it smaller, perfect. Uh, but we can also play around with its size during the video. Now this, this is what I think is one of the best things about this software, and just how easy it is. So if we go to the video properties, and we're doing it just on the, uh, the text bit here, if we add this thing called add video action, initially I was like, what the hell is this? What does this do? And it brings on this little kind of patch onto your screen. And this is a bit where things start to change. So if I were to move this over here, and if I say, uh, so from here to there, I want this to all of a sudden be, let's say move it from there to there. From the start, it still starts up there. Right. And then it moves down Rolling. until it's got to the bit where you want it. Uh, and not just movement, you can also change its size. So let's say we make it bigger, like that. So it goes from there, right. goes around, and now it's getting Rolling. bigger. Or smaller, or whatever. So, so I, think, I think that's one of the best kind of things. I was just how easy it is to do that. Um, and, you know, you can do multiple actions in the same video. So let's say here just add another video action and from, let's say we'll make it a little bit longer and we'll have it move over there and we'll have it become much smaller just like that. So again from the start back to the thingy, right. moving down to the Rolling. side and then moving over to the other side and, and that's that sorted. And what you will notice is that this audio hasn't moved so we need to get that back in the same position. Let's do that again. Right. Rolling. And then let's see if we want to do an add another one. Let's go there. Oh, on this, add another video action. And on this one, we're going to have something like a rotation. Let's bring it around so it flips around 180 degrees. So here again, because there, spins around. Brilliant. Love it. Love it. Really good. Really very simple and easy to use. Um, I wonder if I could, wait, hold on, here's another one. Can we make it spin around and go upside down? So here's another video action, upside down, and then back round there. Let's see how that works. So from here, spin round. Ooh, yeah, it's like doing a, it's doing a backflip itself. Um, okay, so that's just some of the kind of cool stuff you can do with stuff on your screen. And, and it's the same with the actual video itself. So if I've highlighted this bit here, I can make it so let's say let's say we want it to become super saturated, like ridiculously saturated as he goes goes and does the jump. So we'll just bring it along until he oh, he kind of stops there. Let's make oh yeah, that's because I cropped it. And we can just make it longer again, very simply just doing that. Let's say from here, I want him to suddenly become super saturated. So up to the end, we're gonna just drag that along, and here let's bring saturation up to 400%. So again, from the start, this is how it looks. That goes there, that flips over, flips over, and then he becomes saturated, there. 
Okay, obviously that saturation is rubbish. You don't ever want to do that in a video because that's just a like crap. But maybe you might want to do it over a whole like music video where it starts in colour and goes to black and white, or goes from black and white to colour. That's quite a good thing to add to the end. Um, yeah, okay, and the rest is all fairly kind of simple stuff like contrast, up and down. Ooh, right down, goes grey. Brightness, up and down. Brightness is too large. Yeah, so there's certain things which you can and cannot really push the boundaries of. Sound as well, you can only go up to like 200, no, 170% or down to zero, that's fine. And you've also got ducking, you've also got some like effects as well. Um, either way, it's all very, very, very good. Now, the next thing which this humps iMovie on is it's slow motion. Now, if I, let me just get the video which I did at 720, uh, at 60 frames a second. So let me just get all of the, where is it? Here is one. Let's just bring that down. And let's have a little check. Five. Here's guy running, jumping, and then... Hello. <laughs> that okay, so there, there was a cool bit where he's like mid-air. Now this was shot at 60 frames a second. Uh, let's see if we can go from here. <laughs> right. So we can, just by using the arrow buttons left and right, we can go forward and back. And let's see there, click on it, control, command T, it's not control, it's upward, then command, then it's T, and then we go a little bit there to there, brilliant. We're going to make this one slow motion. So that was a tiny little jump to that bit, and what we can do is we can just double click on it, and now we've got this bit called the clip inspector, and we can make the speed slower or much faster. And here, because I shot at 60 frames a second, I can bring it down to 40%, and that will still make it like 24 frames a second. So, there. Uh, and then if we zoom back out, we'll need to move this one along so it meets it there. And if we go here... Hello. Oh. <laughs> okay, so sound sucks a little bit there, because we're obviously changing the speed. So if you're putting music in, that's absolutely fine. Um, and so from here, we are going to do, let's go even more slow-mo here. So from this bit right down to landing on the ground, command T, uh, whatever, you know, the buttons. And this one, we're going to make it oh, even slower. We're going to bring this down to 20%. Now this on iMovie will make it suck. It'll just be like shot, 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 moving. But this has this brilliant thing where it gives it kind of a... Uh, uh, it kind of merges the the frames together. Let's see how well it does just now. That's it. Brilliant. Okay, so anyway, that's just kind of a, my intro. Oh, the, the other thing is, uh, if you want to add in, so it fades to black at the end, just go to this little button down here, add starting or add ending transition. Um, and if you want any other transitions, like from this one to this one, if you want to like drag it in, you've got this little bit right down here. It's tiny, uh, but you can choose the different ones. Uh, again, you never really use anything apart from cross dissolve and fade to black or fade to white. Uh, all the rest of the stuff is just kind of you just don't use really. Um, so, but yeah, that's that's the shot there, and it's pretty fast at exporting as well. So if I go file, we can do a straight publish to YouTube, or I can go export. Uh, we'll call it flips. And we've got these little other options of how high performance you want it to be printed out. Uh, but here I'm just going to export this. What is this? This is now a 25 second file at 720p with some slow motion. Okay, and that's the video edited out and popped out away already. So that's pretty good. And what I'll do is I'll add it to the end of this video. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, screen flow, I think very good, very easy software to use and very kind of fluid in its movements, not confusing in any way whatsoever. Um, yeah, I've been trying to use Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro and they are just so confusing, it's unbelievable. So I'm going to have to get my friend Neil in to do a video of just how to do even the simple basic stuff on that. I'm just totally lost. Like how do you even cut, paste, crop, all that kind of stuff. Totally lost, don't have a clue. Um, but yeah, so I uh, uh, that's all for me today and if um, you've got any other questions about how to work screen flow put them down below and I'll see if we can do a video on them as well. Cheers, bye bye. Right, rolling. Shall I go? Three or four.
Hello. <laughs> That's it.